name is Cynthia Nimo Ampredu, the Executive Director of the Human Rights Advocacy Center. The Legal Aid Scheme was established to provide support uh, to persons who cannot ordinarily afford legal representation. Uh, but we realized that the Legal Aid Scheme faces a number of challenges. First off, um, there's an issue with uh, resources, both human resource and then financially. And then apart from that, there's also some challenge with the institutional framework. Particularly, the scheme is under the oversight responsibility of the Minister for Justice and Attorney General. The major issue with that is that it presents a situation of conflict of interest because we do know that every case that is instituted against the state or by the state is done at the instance of the Attorney General. And so if, for example, in a criminal situation um, where a person needs legal representation has to fall on the legal aid scheme, which is under the oversight responsibility of the Attorney General, clearly you would wonder whether it is the Attorney General who is now providing the legal support or not. And then apart from that, the funding for the legal aid scheme is also channeled through the Ministry for uh, Justice and Attorney General. And for this particular case, we would realize that there is no specific quota for uh, the legal aid scheme. So it basically ends up based on the needs assessed for the various or the two institutions. And obviously the one with the oversight responsibility would have a chunk of the money. Um, and so for this year, for example, uh, Attorney General's department had about 110, a little over 110 uh, million, whilst the legal aid scheme had about seven, which was even further cut down to about 5.6 thereabouts. It's not surprising to find that there isn't adequate resources for the legal aid scheme. And obviously there are other challenges. Um, Attorney General's department has its own challenges. This year, we heard about there being um, a gap in terms of its state attorneys of about 600. So if it, a whole Attorney General's department has a gap, a gap of 600 um, personnel or lawyers, at what point will it be able to satisfy its own needs before that of the legal aid scheme is met? And currently we are talking about 23 lawyers for the legal aid scheme for the entire nation. And we know the volumes of cases that are perpetuated against uh, the vulnerable and the poor. And on a daily basis, they are not able to access uh, legal services. Some of them are frustrated and they take things into their own hands. And it's, it's essentially because there is no recourse or there is no access, adequate access uh, to legal remedy. And for this or for these issues that I've just discussed, um, the Constitutional Review Commission came to a conclusion or recommended based on feedback I had from the public that it is essential that government considers establishing the legal aid scheme as an independent constitutional body with its own separate funding. And in fact, this was accepted by government in its white paper. And um, well, I'm happy to say that some work has been done because now I know that there's a new law that has been passed by Parliament, the Legal Aid Commission Act, and this is supposed to be a precursor to that constitutional amendment. And so we are looking forward to it. We are hoping that government would act expeditiously um, so that the, the rights of the vulnerable, the rights of the poor, will be protected, will be respected, because we are talking about inclusive and sustainable development. And without bringing the poor along, without ensuring that their access to justice is protected, I don't think that we can be successful in our strive towards um, uh, sustainable development. Thank you. <laughs> Kaja yi